What happens if my passport expires? Can I renew my Qatar ID? If my passport expires, can I renew my Qatar ID with an expired passport? Tune in to this video. This is Max Creation TV, the only channel with the two information. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press that red bell icon. You'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. What happens to my passport if it expires? Yes, this is a lot of questions that have been asked by a lot of people that I keep on being uh, a lot of people are dazzled about are dazzled with this kind of questions. And uh, what I, uh, for my own experience, what I want to let you know is that once your Qatar ID expires, let's say for example, yeah, your Qatar ID contract was two years and you really wish to renew the two years with the company and again at the same time this is a time where your passport expires to some companies to some companies to renew a cut id you have to renew a passport what does it mean exactly what does it mean for you for you to have a e visa in your passport your passport validity should be six months that is what you need to know that even if you are travel somewhere, the validity of your passport it should be within it should be with a period of six gross period of six months. That is what we call the validity of the passport. So in this situation, you are a security guard. You are in the hospitality section. You are in the facility management, uh, facility management section. You are technician. You are domestic worker. Uh, your cleaner uh, in any category that you are working in is that you need to be aware of this to some companies they will never renew your Qatar ID in case you want to continue with that company for a given period of time unless your passport is has a validity date of six months that is actually the mandatory that is that is the period that your passport you hold so look at a situation whereby look at a situation whereby your passport has expired and your Qatar ID has expired and you wish to renew. What do I have to do? This is from my own point of view and this is from my own experience. I'll tell you what to do. First of all, before you you think about even of renewing your Qatar ID, make sure your passport has a validity date of six months. If it is, for example, it is expired and you are within the country, let's say for example you're working in Qatar, you're working in Saudi Arabia, you're working in Bahrain, you are working anywhere. But in this case I'll talk about a situation in Qatar here. What you need to do is you need to first renew your passport first. You need to first get a new passport first. How do you get a new passport? It's just you need to go to your embassy, the embassy of your country in Qatar that can help you renew your passport. To some countries, they're so, they're, they're, they're so lucky that the embassies can do, uh, can process the passports within the country, within Qatar itself. That is being so lucky. That is, that's what I'm talking about. That's the opportunity that we need to share at the time. So if your country has that kind of service within, within Qatar, then probably do it very fast because before you can think of, of renewing your Qatar ID because I do not think even the company will accept to renew your ID. They will not accept to renew your ID unless that passport has that validity date of six months. So to some countries they are not they are unlucky. Their embassies cannot process cannot process the passports from here. The only option they have to give you is that they will give you a recommendation later to come back to your country. And all all of you all of you, you know what has been happening. We've been having with the pandemic, the pandemic from 2019, with its drastic effects. You know what has been happening. So what does it mean? Is that you really need to look away. You need to look for a way forward. How you can really renew the passport before you can think of renewing the Qatar ID. But let us look at a situation now. Let us just look at a situation right now, whereby you have got a new passport 
either from your embassy or from wherever you have to process it from. So what happens here in Qatar? You will get your old passport and the new passport plus your old Qatar ID. You present that to your company or it can be the human resource department. In case, if your company is going to do it for you, because to some people, there must be freelancers somewhere. Some might have their own visas. Some must be a family-sponsored visas in one or the other. So what you do, you, got, you get the old passport, the new passport for Katahidi. That is what is supposed to be submitted to the Ministry of Interior for upgrade. Normally in Qatar, what they do, or what they will do, they will get the old passport details, transfer direct them to the new passport. Because I, what, I, what I know is that old passport and the new passport will have different passport numbers at the same time. So they will, they will transfer your visa sticker from the old passport to the new passport. And they will transfer your Qatar ID detail of your passport number from the old passport to your new passport. So meaning that once the two passports, the old and the new passports are submitted with the Qatar ID, you'll have a new printout of the ID that bears the passport number of the new passport. It is normally takes a little bit, not more than it's three to five days it can be done, depending on the company that is holding it, or depending on your company, how it does the work, or how it will definitely follow up in any way or the other. So in any way in the world, you don't need to get worried about that. That can be done within days, then you can have your passport or you can have your Qatar ID back. Or in the same situation, if you, you get your new passport, then that means your company can definitely renew for you your Qatar, your Qatar ID. If you, you feel really you want to add or you really need to continue with that company at, uh, at one way or the other. So it's, uh, it's, I think it is well answered. But the main, the, main, the, main, the main part of it all is how have you renewed the passport? from where if you have the embassy then that is good enough that is like you're lucky enough that you have the embassy they can totally try to do that for you and you'll get the passport within a given period of time uh, that is allocated for that then you'll have to submit the passport that will have to transport your sticker visa from the old passport to the new passport remember they can no longer give you a e-visa or not even a visa that can be given to you if your passport does not have a validity period of six months I think that's the mandatory period that each one is supposed to have. Hope you've learned something and hope you can. So this it is no big hassle. To some companies, the human resource may be a little bit lazy and they may not do it well, but it is takes a little bit of three to five days. You will have your documents, you'll have your passport and your Qatar ID back at all costs. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Yeah. Comment, like in the subsection below. If you feel the information is uh, very important and very good for you, please subscribe to this channel. Comment in the subsection. I'll always be very grateful to get back. By the way, don't forget to watch. Don't forget to watch my other videos, uh, educative videos. I'll always be very grateful for all the comments. And stay, stay, Max from the Max Creation TV. Thank you so much. See you again. Make sure. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, the only channel that will give you the true information. Thank you so much.